Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a trade on the stock market game. The first thing you got to do, of course, is to log in, put in your username. That, that you cannot change, but your password you can to something a little more familiar, something easier to put in. I still haven't changed mine, so bear with me. Got that in, you hit log in, and you go to the main welcome screen. Here you have a cho choices of portfolio. You just hover over and you can see the sub menus. We're going to talk about that later. Let's go right to trade. This is where we're going to go. But before we get in that, here's research. We're going to talk about this later on in a few weeks, how you can research your companies. Let's go to trade. Let's say I know I want to buy Disney stock. So I hit trade. I hit enter a trade. I can click on stock trade. That is ownership in a company. And you know what? I don't really know Disney stock symbol. I do, but for this example, let's pretend I don't. So I'm going to type in Disney, and let's look up their stock symbol. Another screen opens, and then there's Disney DIS on the New York Consolidated. Let's go with that one. Uh, let's buy Disney. So the company name we're going to buy is Disney DIS. We're going to buy. We're going to talk about these other options later. Later on, if you ever want to sell, you to click this. The short sell and the short cover, we'll talk about later. And let's go with 100 shares. That's a round lot. You always want to buy and sell in round lots. That's in multiples of 100. If you go less or more of that, say one share or something like that, it's going to cost you more in brokerage fees. I'm going to go stick with the order type of market. We're going to talk about the different types of order types. And we're also going to talk about this limit price as well down the road. For now, this is your basic buy trade. We're going to hit preview trade. You're going to buy Disney. You have to re-input your password to effectuate the trade. So here I go with that long mammy jammer that I have not changed yet. I entered in, and I'm going to hit confirm trade if that's what I want to do. And I'm going to wow, this one, and there's my transaction. Tomorrow, this trade should take effect sometime, and it'll kick me back what price I bought at, and so on. That's how you make a trade in the stock market game. Thank you.